Okay, so this is going to be the daily update for Bitcoin and a few other altcoins for February 6th, 2020. Let's start in with Bitcoin. Uh, talked uh, last night in the channel, uh, or actually the live stream, uh, about this Fib cluster right up here uh, around 9800, uh, between 9750 and 9800. Uh, you can see where it wicked above it, but then pulled right back in. It looks like it's just basing right here trying to break out of this this area so uh, next area of resistance is going to be right at 10,000 so if if this area breaks I'm fully expecting that we pop through this and could see a run all the way up to 10,200 uh, next area of resistance uh, could get really interesting could see a big spike all the way up to 10,707 um, I'm not really expecting that big of a move immediately I'm expecting some sort of choppiness in here, maybe come back and retest the 10 EMA at some point, uh, or even pop and then retest this old fib cluster line in here, which is obviously some tough resistance. So anyway, that's what we got on Bitcoin. Uh, I also talked about this uh, stochastic RSI that I did not want to see it, you know, make a higher price and lower indicator. So this is obviously trying to get back up and not do that. So this is still bullish. Uh, we're still watching for divergences, but none have appeared yet. Um, that is Bitcoin. So let's go to Ethereum. Uh, huge move today. Um, I mean, look at this. It's it's breaking past 38.2 retracement. We'll go ahead and take that one out. And let's see what else we got. Uh, approaching a 261.8 retracement from a prior retracement. Back over here. Uh, after that, you got next resistance uh, up at 240. So Ethereum looks like it's headed to 225, uh, 240 after that if it if it makes that. But prices outside Bollinger Bands, uh, expecting some sort of retrace here uh, fairly soon. Uh, let's go to Litecoin. Um, trying to break the 1272, which was resistance here pulled back is now trying to regain and break through that uh, Bollinger Band still looks strong it's not outside it's staying within uh, next area of resistance is going to be 78 on Litecoin uh, let's go to XRP uh, this one here again outside the Bollinger Bands pretty much like Ethereum uh, moving in the same kind of manner uh, I'm expecting this one really before any kind of retracement to probably touch this 29 cent area, pull back from there, and then make a go at this big red resistance area up in the 31 cent range. Uh, this one I called in the channel, this is ZRX, uh, huge, huge winner for us, right? Uh, we were getting in right around in the 23 cent areas where I, where I called it when it was basing just right in between the 200 and 233, holding the 10 and the 20, and then bam, look at the move. Uh, took four days, uh, so you have to have a little bit of patience with these swing swing plays, uh, but now it's breaking this resistance over here, and I changed this line to green because that's going to be support now. Uh, next area resistance is 0.288, let's call it 29 cents. Um, might hit there and then maybe retrace back to 28 uh, before taking on 30 cent, 31 cent area. Uh, so huge win right here, and I don't really think this is going to be the end of it. Uh, but I would expect up here we'll probably get a, a bigger retrace once it hits around 30 cents. So uh, good, good win for us all right there for those who, who took the trade. Uh, so congrats to those who did. Uh, let's go to XTZ. Uh, price way outside Bollinger Bands, and you know what happens, right? Uh, wick, wick, it sees it's outside, time to pull back in. Uh, watch for resistance, or sorry, support around $2. Uh, that would be the area to watch first. Uh, maybe even, yeah, let's call it the $2 range. Let's just call it that. That's XTZ. Um, ICX, uh, pulling back in nicely after the big run up. Still expecting some more choppiness out of this one over the next few days. Possibly even get down in here into the low 4,000s, 4,185. And uh, just watch it there and see what happens. Might be a good bounce play. Um, EOS, a good one. Uh, testing this Fib cluster right up in here. Uh, big resistance up above. 
at 475. Um, let's look at link. Uh, just chopping its way up, right? Nothing really too exciting just yet, but stochastic RSI holding that 40 area and trying to make a run at over uh, overbought conditions. This one could march up higher, okay? You got some resistance right here at three dollars. Break that, and you're more than likely you're going to test three fifteen. And then you see what happens after that. But uh, anyway, that's uh, pretty much what I've got for tonight, guys. Um, if y'all have any questions, you know where I'm at in the in the channel and Discord. Uh, if you're not a member of Discord yet, uh, follow me on Twitter. I've got the link to join. If not, send me a message. I'll give you another link. And uh, hit the subscribe button, like button, and hit the bell notification for alerts. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Have a good evening.